This is the story of RMS Titanic, the most iconic and luxurious cruise ship of her time. The construction of Titanic was started in 1909 and it was completed in 1912. It took almost three years to build this cruise ship. The famous shipbuild magazine claimed Titanic as practically unsinkable and people viewed it as an indestructible cruise ship. Titanic began its median voyage from Southampton, England to New York City on April 10, 1912. Three days later, approximately at midnight on April 14, the boat entered in the regions of Iceberg. Six warning messages were received by the cruise captain. Accordingly, he adjusted the Titanic score to the south without compromising the speed of ship. Titanic kept sailing in the Atlantic Ocean with the high speed and ended up hitting one of the iceberg. This striking impact punctured the ship hull and it was enough to trigger the tragedy. Through the punctured sections, water started entering into the lower compartments. The ocean water flooded the entire lower section and reached to the lower deck of the Titanic. Slowly, slowly, Titanic started sinking into the Atlantic Ocean. The cold freezing water filled up the entire front section of the Titanic, which caused the imbalance. Many cracks were initiated and started propagating by that time. Finally, ship started losing its parts one by one. The rear compartment of the cruise got lifted up cruise broken into two pieces. Front section of the Titanic got separated and it started marching towards the ocean bed with a great speed. This front compartment was followed by the rear compartment and it also started marching towards the ocean bed with a great speed. Total 15,000 people lost their lives. Today's safety protocols of water vehicles were result of the lesson learned from the Titanic disaster. Let's see what lesson engineers learned from the Titanic disaster. We know that Titanic sink due to the puncture of ship hull. Ship manufacturer used thousands of mild steel plate of one inch thickness onto the hull exterior. And these mild steel plates assembled by using millions of wrought iron and steel rivets. When Titanic bumped onto the iceberg, these mild steel plates and rivet failed by brittle fracture. The temperature of water was below freezing temperature and many still shows ductile to brittle transition below 0 degree Celsius temperature. So when Titanic bumped onto the iceberg at that time the rivets which are made up of steel and wrought iron experienced ductile to brittle transition and they fractured in a brittle manner. When the rivets fractured they popped out and my steel plates got separated from one another. When the plates get separated, the gap has been created and through that gap, the ocean water entered into the lower sections of the Titanic ship. Other structural parts which were made up of steel material had high level of sulphur and whenever sulphur present in a high quantity, it causes cold shortness. So, because of which Titanic broke into two pieces. It means high straining due to impact loading lower temperature of water and high level of sulphur, all these conditions were responsible for Britain failure of steel material. It took three years to build and less than three hours to sink. Still, Titanic is hidden in the darkness, lying over 12,000 feet deep into the Atlantic Ocean. But from the disaster of Titanic, the shipbuild manufacturers learned a great lesson about steel material failure.